What's going on guys? It's Icy Rhythms. Welcome back. And in this video, once again, don't want to spend too much time talking, just get right into the gameplay clips, many of which work against me, some of them for me. I'm still learning. I'm still trying to adjust to the Madden way. I've always been more of a, a 2K guy as far as sports games go. And to be honest, I haven't really played a lot of Madden since... 2005, 2006, something like that. I played last year's game for maybe a total of six hours or something, and then maybe one or two others here and there. So I'm a little, uh, I'm a little out of the, a little out of the Madden game. But that being said, this version of the game, absolutely the best version of the game that you can own if you have the PC to run it, which the requirements, minimum or the recommended, really aren't too high for anyone in my opinion i mean in, in my opinion this game kind of runs on toasters if you just want to run at 60 frames a second outside of when they're doing close-ups of the players and things like that the little in between plays kind of thing i don't know what the deal is there those don't seem to run all that well they have issues i'm i'm getting anywhere from 42 to you know 60 70 frames during scenes like that but when you're actually playing the game it is a solid 60 but if you unlock the frame rate you can definitely feel the difference i, th I think in a game like this though just locking it at 60 with rivet tuner once again I, I just i completely suggest using rivet tuner if you're looking to lock frame rates because it's going to give you the best performance the best results possible and you can see that that line once again it doesn't really move too much as far as frame times frame pacing things like that it is absolutely solid there is again a number of settings to choose from i haven't tried the directx 12 version of the game if you would like to see me put on directx 12 and see how that runs you know give me a like tell me in the comments you know let me know i'm also considering reviewing the game so keep that in mind as well we may do that and yeah man i'm just going to get into these clips some of them are just going to be without the numbers so once i give you an idea of how the game runs i'm just going to switch to some of the other games i was playing which have been some really good really close games i've lost one or two but you know sometimes that's just the way that it goes i haven't played anyone online i'm not really looking to play randoms because you know cheating things like that i just don't trust random so if i play anyone it's going to be people that i know from youtube or just close friends what have you so anyway i'll get into these numbers let you guys see the performance for yourself thank you again and i appreciate the continued support there will be many more of these type of videos in the future thanks again peace this first and ten back inside their own five and they'll go with a ground attack here fighting to get back to the goal line i don't think he got there he did not did not get back there it's a safety and you know the man who sat in my chair the last few years he has a theory these plays these safeties they're so rare maybe they should be worth more than two maybe four points i think he's got a great point i really do third and long it's locked looking deep for hilton that's going to be caught, and he'll get into the end zone, touchdown Indianapolis. T.Y. Hilton, 58 yards, and the Colts are in for six. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches, and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something, when you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But sometimes athleticism beat you as well. He just took off and went. That's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? <laughs> just go long, Backyard. man. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. The later we go, it's starting yeah. to sound like 100,000 in here. He's back to throw. And he's going to find Doyle in the end zone for a Colts score. Jack Doyle from a yard out. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post. Luck. Trying to lay one up deep. And got his man complete. Look at the big man rumble. And he gets it down deep into 
San Francisco territory. He's done this many, many times before. Adam Vinatieri. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So it comes down to a man who has done this many, many times before. Adam Vinatieri. And that is no good. And that changes everything here in OT. And we've got free football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have over so many things anyway. You come back and run essentially the same play again. Continue to move the ball on the ground. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 25. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. Still catching our breaths from that electric finish. You get into overtime, that's one thing. It was a great four quarters. But then an OT, not only to win it, but to win it on a defensive score. Wow. The 35 oh, yard line actively. Because they think the way kickers are nowadays, not a 52 yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper in the territory. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Roger Lewis as the first half is winding down. And the Giants are in for six. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, it's great just completions. Goal. In the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quick? Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. He's at the 50. 30, the 20, 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Indianapolis. What you just saw there, first round talent, second year, even more success. A pick six for a touchdown. A great play the field, except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? T.Y. Hilton, nobody to beat. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Pass interference. Defense. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline <laughs> the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over with the penalty? I don't would even do for know them? why they asked the sidewalk. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone, not a takeaway. Take the points and keep moving. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making. It... They'll run. This is Robert Turbin. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Down on the field, we've got an injured Colt after that last play. We'll check on his status when we get back. And unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. And all oh, this is taken in one-handed. What a catch. A very I just, I just perked up when you said Merlin Olsen. Yeah, a lot of people said, hey, that's too much, too far, and maybe it is early. And this is caught inside the five. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. T.Y. Hilton, 56 yards. And the Colts are going to take a first quarter lead. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. Well, sometimes athleticism beats you. Eluding the pressure right. And the Colts are in for the touchdown. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got well, in the end The initial end focus was on how far that pass was downfield, but how about the coverage on the play? Able to stay with a big rush, and it's blocked. Jets come after him, and they get him. And they are going to take possession of the football. McCown. That's complete right around the eight. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Clive Walford, a we'll nine get after him one more time. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Back to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. 
Picked off by Tremaine Johnson. And his guys will sell it. Talk about giving your team a little juke. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Marcus May with a pick.